Hello everyone and welcome to Kadi's channel. So sa video na to pag-uusapan natin ang basics ng zero. So isang feature ng zero ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon and kung interested ka, please keep on watching until the end. Do not skip para wala kang mamiss na tips and tricks na i-share ko throughout the video. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> Bago ka lang sa channel na to, I'm Kaji, virtual assistant, executive assistant, bookkeeper, accountant. So kahit anong work, pinapasok ko, basta online, kasi online work is amazing! Sa channel na to, dinidiscuss natin more on online work, tips and tricks, and mga success stories. So kung interested ka sa mga topics na yun, Please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell para wala kang ma-miss na video na ina-upload ni Kaji every single week. The advanced accounting feature na zero. Okay? So, para makapunta ka sa advanced accounting, all you have to do is click accounting and then advanced. And then, idadirect ka niya na po dito sa advanced accounting feature na zero. So, under advanced accounting feature, meron tayong mga tinatawag na file and recode, yung manual journals, tax asset, mga exporting accounting data, and assurance dashboard, history and notes, financial settings, chart of accounts, tax rate, tax asset settings, tracking categories, reporting preferences, and conversion balances. So, as a bookkeeper, mas maganda na alam mo how define and recode feature of zero works. Okay? So, you find a recode po, feature ng zero is to fix incorrect categorization across multiple transactions at once. Ibig sabihin, you're going to reclassify a transaction or bulk of transactions into another account. So, if you want to do it, let's say, for example, you do have 1,000 transactions to recategorize, you can use the find and recode feature. Okay? And we do also have here sa advanced accounting feature yung tinatawag nating manual journal or kung sa manual bookkeeping yung tinatawag nating journal entry. So again, yung manual journal is ginagamit natin to record adjustment sa ating books of account. Okay? And then we also have fixed asset where we can create and manage asset. So again, pag sinabi nating asset, these are mga things or asset na pagmamay-ari ng cap ng company, okay? So, we can also export accounting data through the advanced features of zero. We also have the assurance dashboard, although hindi mo naman kakailanganin ito mga to most of the time. But, uh, again, this is just a walkthrough. And we also have history and notes here to view the summary of the action made by all users inside the organization. So, if you want to view the notes and history, you can always check this one, okay? And then, we also have financial settings where we can edit financial settings like tax period and pwede rin tayo mag-lock ng dates. And meron din tayong chart of accounts where we can add, archive, edit, delete, import, and export yung ating mga account category. And then, we do have tax rate where we can add, edit, or delete tax rate. We also have fixed added asset settings, tracking categories, reporting currencies, and conversion balances. So, sana marami kayo natutunan sa video na to. And if you want more videos like this, just let me know sa comment section and Kaji will try to create more videos for you. I'll see you again sa next video ko. Bye!